Hey guys, Tyler here for another video with the Chevy Silverado. Today we're going to be doing the brakes on it. The brakes are just about at the end of their life cycle, so instead of doing a standard brake repair, we're going to go ahead and upgrade to a performance set. So the brakes that I decided to go with are the Power Stop set. These are them here. Here's the pads. You can buy these as a set on Amazon or Summit. Here's the pads and all the hardware. And then uh, the really pretty part, the drilled and slotted rotors are right here. So we'll go ahead and uh, take off the wheel and everything and show you how it's done. So if you're replacing the brakes on your Silverado, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is jack the truck up. As you can see, we have a jack underneath the truck. We also have a jack stand for safety to make sure just in case the jack fails that uh, we're not gonna get crushed. So like I said, first thing you wanna do is Make sure you uh, grab your frame with the jack, jack it up as high as possible to the point that the wheel is off the ground, and then we're gonna take the wheel off. All right, so the next step is we're gonna take the uh, wheel and tire off the truck. Um, the easiest way to do that is with an impact on like we have, but if you don't have one, you can also do it with a tire iron. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the wheel off real quick so we can get to the brakes. So now that we have the um, wheel and rim, or the tire and the rim off of the truck, you can see that we have our rotor and caliper set up. Everything looks kind of old and nasty. So we're now just going to go through the steps of taking the caliper off the rotor so we can pull the whole rotor and caliper set up off, replace the pads, and replace the rotor as well. All right guys, so the first step that we're gonna do here is loosen the caliper guide pins. There's two of them. There's gonna be one towards the bottom and one up, uh, one up top here. And the reason that we're loosening them first is because with the brackets still attached um, to the truck and everything, it'll be easier to loosen these instead of taking the whole thing off first where it'll move around when we try to loosen everything. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen these two bolts first. Let me get the air gun. So now we have both of them loose, and that was a three-quarter inch um, socket, by the way. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take the entire, um, we'll take this off and then we'll take the entire bracket off. That way we can get the uh, rotor off as well. So now we're just going to take the um, caliper off. Um, if it's an older truck like mine, you may need to do a little bit of uh, banging on it with like a rubber hammer or something. Um, I hit it a little bit, now it's kind of loose, so I can just wiggle it off. There we go. So now you can see the entire uh, caliper piece is off, exposing the brake pads, and this is the, uh, the rest of this is the bracket that we're going to have to take off next. So the next step that we're going to want to do here is take the um, caliper and move it up out of the way. So we're going to use a bungee cord. I'm basically just going to hang it up out of the way so it's not in our way while we're working. Thank you. So we're just going to find somewhere to hang it up here. You don't hang it on any of your brake lines or anything. You don't want to do that. Um, but anything that you can find to hook it up to here that's not super important that you're going to break anything. We'll just set it there for now. Um, that's fine. That way uh, we're not putting any pressure on the brake line um, and it's out of the way. So the next step is we're going to want to take off the rest of the bracket which is going to be these two bolts here. So we'll go ahead and switch the sockets and we'll show you the next step. So I forgot to mention before we take the uh, bracket off we're going to go ahead and just pop the pads out which is really easy. You're literally just going to pull them towards you on this side, wiggle them out, and then on the other side, you're just gonna push them away from you, and you're gonna have to wiggle back and forth. That might be a little bit stuck, depending on how much wear you have, 
So as you can see, they're really off. And then uh, now that our bracket is all exposed and everything, we're going to go back through and take these two bolts out in the back. All right, so like I said, we're going to take these two uh, bolts out now that are holding up the uh, rest of the bracket. This is an 18 millimeter um, deep impact socket. Like I said before, we're just using um, an impact gun because it's a little bit easier to take everything off, especially if everything's rusted. Um, you can also use hand tools to do this as well. Alright, so now you can see we have the bracket off, which was holding up the caliper and the whole uh, brake system. So we took those two bolts out, so now we can set that aside. And the next step is to take the actual rotor um, off the truck. Now, if you have your stock rotors on the truck, which if it's an old truck like this, you probably don't. But um, a lot of the trucks come with a, uh, like a, like a set screw that holds the rotor um, onto the suspension of the truck which will just be a little screw in the center of the rotor. As you can see right here, this is where mine was um, supposed to be on the original ones. So these are aftermarket rotors. I've already changed the rotors once on the truck, so we don't have to do that step. But like I said, the next step is to just take your rotors off. All right, so the next step that we're doing is something that you don't necessarily have to do, but um, it helps prevent rust and uh, creates a nice bond in between the rotor and the hub setup. So what we're gonna do is just take a wire brush and kind of scrape off some of the excess um, rust that's left over and then uh, use some anti-seize on the uh, back to kind of make everything sit nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit and we'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. Right, once you knock all the rust off, make it as loose as you can. Just get some brake clean and spray the whole thing down. See all that rust running down? That's what you want. And then you can hit it again with the wire brush to get as much as you as much rust as you can off. All right. So now that we have the uh, surface cleaned up, we're just going to add a little bit of anti-seize, and this is going to help with uh, vibration and prevent rust as well and just make a good like mating surface for the new rotor. So as you can see, we're adding a little bit on. You don't need to use a ton of this, just a little bit. All right, so uh, as you can see, we cleaned up the entire area and just smeared some anti-seize all over the uh, mating surface. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw the brand new rotor on. All right, so as you can see, we have the uh, new rotor all set up. We just took it out of the box. Now before you install the new rotor on your vehicle, what you're gonna wanna do is use some uh, Brake Clean to take the film that they put on there, it's called Cosmoline, and it's basically a uh, rust preventer that they put on this uh, in the box so while the rotor sits on the shelf, um, no rust or anything is able to build up on the actual rotor. So like I said, you're just going to use some Brake Clean and a paper towel. You can spray it all over the uh, rotor and then just wipe it off and it'll be ready to install. All right, so before you put the rotor on the truck, um, just make sure that you have the correct rotor for the right side. As you can see, they are labeled. So uh, just check for that before you install the rotor on the truck. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw it on now. Um, it's real simple. You basically just line up the holes to the studs and slide it over, and it's as simple as that. So now our next step is going to be to reinstall everything. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, install our bracket next. So before we reinstall the bracket, we're going to put these anti-rattle clips um, into the bracket because it's a little easier to do it now rather than later. As you can see, they have these two little pins in the middle. You're basically just going to pinch them in together and then slide them into the bracket like so, and they should sit like this, and they shouldn't fall out. So once you do that, now we can install the bracket, um, which is going to hold the rotor in. Also, a little tip to hold the rotor in to keep it from moving while you're installing the bracket, you can take one of your lug nuts, um, preferably the bottom one, 
and just snug it on here so the rotor doesn't move while you're installing everything. So we're going to go ahead and throw this bracket on now. Alright, so you can see that we have the bracket mounted now. This is going to be the uh, longer bolts that you took out earlier, right here. Um, so these, if you're using an air gun, you want to just start by hand to make sure that they are not going to cross thread. So as you can see, we have them hand tightened. And then we're just going to take the air gun and snug them up. Alright, so now what we're going to do is um, we need to push the pistons back down. That way it's easier to install our new pads into the caliper. So we're using a caliper spreader tool. Um, basically what we've done is just put an old brake pad here so we're not pushing directly on the um, piston itself. And we're just going to use this tool to push the piston back into the cylinder, which will make it much easier to install the new brake pads. So we're just going to do that on both sides because this is a dual piston caliper. All right, so now we're just going to install the brake pads into the um, bracket. So they're just going to slide in to the anti-rattle clips. Sometimes they're a little bit of a pain to get in. Okay, that slides in. Um, obviously one for each side. Okay, so now we have both pads in. You can see that um, they're set up so they can grab the rotor when the caliper is compressed. So our next step is going to be to put the caliper back over top of the brake pads and bolt it into the bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. All right, so um, as you can see, we've put the caliper back over the new brake, uh, brake pads. And this is going to be the same way that you kind of took it off. You're just going to slide it right back over top. And then you have your two bolts that are going to go in here, one on the bottom and one on the top. And we're actually going to tighten this with a hand tool because we don't want to, um, we don't want the possibility of breaking these bolts. So we're just going to go ahead and hand tighten them. And making sure that you, um, compress the calipers, the uh, pistons in the calipers is really important because if you don't, it'll be almost impossible to slide the caliper over the new brake pads because they're thicker than your old worn brake pads. So now that I have everything assembled, it should look like when we started. Make sure everything's nice and snug. And now you can see the, uh, everything is all reinstalled the way it should be. We have our new drilled in slotted rotor on the um, setup. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here. Thank you. So now that we have everything all set up, you can see the uh, drilled and slotted rotor on there. We have our new brake pad sitting in the caliper and everything is all set. So now what we're gonna do is uh, just take this uh, lug nut off and reinstall our wheel. All right, so we've put the um, wheel and tire back on the truck. Um, real self-explanatory, just line up your holes with the studs, put it back on. The only thing that you want to be careful with now is as we're tightening the um, lug nuts, you want to go in a star pattern. I already put the lug nuts in and just hand tighten them. So now what we're going to do is just go around and you don't want to um, tighten them all the way on the first shot. You're just going to try to get, uh, you want to basically center the wheel up to the um, truck. So we're just going to do a couple quick passes and then we'll tighten it all the way down. But the biggest thing is you want to do a star pattern.
Okay, so now that we have the wheel all tightened down and everything, um, everything's all set up, what we want to do before we switch over to the other side is just go into the truck um, and pump the brakes a little bit. And what this is going to do is retighten the uh, pistons in the caliper um, because we don't want to go over to the other side and compress the pistons and push the brake fluid back up into the master cylinder and possibly have it overflow. So before we go to the next side, we're just going to pump the brakes and relieve that pressure. Alright guys, so uh, it's actually the next day now. Unfortunately, as I was filming my outro, the camera, di the camera died on me. So um, we went ahead and finished the other side of the brake kit. The other side is going to be the same exact thing as the first side that I just showed you all the steps for. Um, so you guys can definitely go ahead on to the next side and do that side as well. If you guys have any questions about the brake kit, where I got it, um, little technical questions, don't be afraid to ask. We're more than happy to help. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, it really helps me do more videos like this and uh, help you guys do some of your own projects. Um, so like I said, like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Um, really appreciate all the support. Summertime's coming up. We're going to do a lot more videos, including our giveaway at uh, 1,000 subscribers. Thanks for all your support, guys. Have a great day.